This is the hand crank winch system. Uh, seems like a lot of people want wanted this added to it, so this is what I did. This is the insert pipe over here. And you can add spacers for uh, to gain height or to take away if you don't need it. It's got 20 foot nylon winch strap on it. The winch is rated at uh, 1,200 pounds. Uh, we cranked about 200 pounds up with it standing on this basket and it worked really well. Here's the, the carrier basket, about 45 inches wide, 20 inches deep. Here's the, the vertical riser pipe. This flat iron is welded on the, the back side of it and it runs in the track in this sleeve here to prevent it from spinning side to side until you clear the height up at or above the back rack of the four-wheeler just prevents it from swinging into the wheels i'll set that on there Can you come around up here? Uh, install a, a wing net on there just to hold it in place if you temporarily need to or to lock it from spinning if you're going down the road. Stop. Wing nut. It cycles up and down a lot faster than the electric winch. I guess it's got its advantages. It's still in the trap. And now it's getting to the point where you can swivel it 360 if you want as you see the winch goes with the basket any direction you want it back up to a pickup set it down the new baskets I'm making I'm actually gonna gonna have this back rail hinged so when you back up with the deer or whatever you got loaded feed bags onto the back end of the tailgate of the pickup you can flip this down to the lay flat just slide everything off onto the bed of the pickup Swivel it forward. You can relock your nut. Hold the basket carrier in position. If you're driving down the road with it, just moves the weight forward from the back point of the basket to the front. It's actually four foot. Just puts a lot more weight back on the four wheeler. Uh, the same thing. This this one is actually set up. I'm making them all. It's not painted this part yet. But other vertical pipe. But it's set up for uh, working on Polaris 900 Ranger side-by-sides. And the uh, holes are pre-drilled for the 2,000-pound electric winch if you want to go that route. I'm just going to keep making them with the pulley system on there. doesn't interfere with the hand crank winch in any way. Um, I think that's about it.